Hey students, uh, I'm at Fish Creek in Big Lake, Alaska, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the salmon life cycle. So salmon start their lives in freshwater bodies of water like Fish Creek, things like creeks and lakes. They're laid as eggs in the fall, and those eggs incubate over winter and then hatch into baby salmon in the spring. And the baby salmon will spend much of the first part of their life living in fresh water, but at a certain point, something in their body tells them that it's time to migrate to the ocean and to live in the salt water. And so they swim downstream until they come to an ocean, and then they'll live in the ocean for many, many, many years, for most of their adult life. Until, again, something in their body tells them that it's time to mate and to return back to fresh water so that they can lay their eggs and begin the cycle over again. So at a certain point, the salmon will begin, the salmon who are in the ocean, the adults, will begin the long journey upstream, back up and into the freshwater body of water that they were first born in so that they can lay their own eggs. As the salmon are journeying upstream, they will sometimes encounter obstacles as part of the designed human environment. One example is here at Fish Creek. There's actually a small dam at this area that allows the, the normal creek level to stay uh, constant, which is something that the property owners who live along the creek want. But that makes it really difficult for the salmon to get home so that they can lay their eggs. So one thing that wildlife biologists have uh, constructed here is a natural rock-based ladder that creates opportunities for the salmon to migrate through and pass through the dam so that they can get into the still water and spawn and lay their eggs. The salmon will start arriving in the freshwater bodies of water in Alaska in the months of August and September, and they'll be spawning throughout August and September as they arrive. We're here in October right now, and at this point, the salmon have already mostly spawned, and their bodies have been decaying since they first hit the freshwater months ago. And so we're going to see that as these salmon are in this body of water, a lot of them are dying and decomposing very slowly after they've laid their eggs to start the cycle over again.